so excited to come play for their home crowd here tonight.
our current album. That album is called Survivor Blues. And I went back through the rich history of the blues and I tried to find some songs that have been forgotten. Songs that have not been covered, but songs that I think are worthy of being resurrected, brought back, and presented to you. This song is by the late, great Jimmy Dawkins. And I think he captured the whole essence of the blues with this one. It's called Me, My Guitar and the Blues.
here.
about my mom one day, and I was thinking about the... She married... My parents divorced when I was a little guy, and they both remarried some pretty strange people. Now, my stepdad... My stepdad, unbeknownst to my mother when she married him, he had been in World War II, and he had been a prisoner of war of the Japanese. He'd been in Iwo Jima, he was in the Japanese prison camp, he had been tortured, then he came home in 1945. They didn't know about PTSD back then. They told him to suck it up, be a man, go get a job, you know. He was, he was tortured in his head. And what he would do is, he was a great guy, great guy, amazing person, but then he'd start drinking he'd become someone else. And he would get very, very violent and abusive. Um, just to get graphic, he'd do stuff like chase me and my brother around the house with a hatchet, and my brother would hold him off with a shotgun. <laughs> but let me tell you, it gave me the blues. Anyway, you know, so one day my mom's like, I, I gotta get rid of this dude, but I don't know how to do it. So she sent him off to Philadelphia for the day. And while he was gone, we packed up all our stuff and we moved. <laughs> he comes home that night and we ain't there, right? Now he figured out where we were and he comes back and he apologizes and begs and she takes him back. And this pattern repeated itself many times. And uh, I started thinking about how she struggled and struggled and did her best to raise me and my brother um, in the face of that. And uh, I wrote her a little number. Um, it's called, I Saw My Mama Cry. <laughs>
song from some years ago. We've kind of resurrected it and kind of asked the musical question if there's a place where the truth can still be found.
some years ago, we've kind of resurrected it and kind of asked the musical question if there's a place where the truth can still be found.
for this next one. Now, uh, while I reach in for this song, I'll tell you a little uh, story about this song. This is off of the Battle Scars album. Battle Scars was an album I did a few years back. I wanted to tell a story in music. It was something that happened to me, and if you're very lucky, it won't happen to you. Some of you know it. I uh, developed a liver disease called hepatitis C. I didn't know I had it, but all of a sudden it, it kicked in and I got really, really ill. And uh, they put me in the hospital. I started in Hogue, they moved me to UCLA, they moved me to Nebraska. Um, in four months, I lost 120 pounds. It's, a, it's an amazing weight loss program, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Side note, 26 years ago, I was the national spokesman for Jenny Craig, and hepatitis C worked a lot quicker. <laughs> anyway, I was in the hospital bed for eight months. I got brain damage. I lost the ability to talk. I didn't recognize my wife or my kids. Um, I was pretty much on the way out, and it, at the last minute, they found a liver match for me and they gave me a liver transplant. And that saved my life. But then the real work began, because then they sent me back home to Huntington Beach and I, I had to get speech therapy, relearn how to talk again. I had to uh, go into physical therapy for months and months and relearn how to use my legs because when you lay in a bed for eight months, your legs don't work no more. Excuse me, mom, English teacher, anymore. <laughs> um, but the real drag for me when I got home, I did not know how to play the guitar anymore. It had been wiped clean from my memory due to the brain damage. I had no idea what to do with this thing, and I'm like, I don't know what to do. What am I gonna do with myself? And my wife says, well, you gotta start over. You have to teach yourself. So, I gave it my best shot. I sat on the couch at HB, and I practiced six or seven hours a day, every day for a year. And slowly the music and the ability to play came back. I wanted to try a gig and see what would happen if I got up on a stage because I had not done a gig in two years. And, uh, most guys would go down to Perks, Main Street, and see what happens. Me? I went to Royal Albert Hall in London. No pressure! Anyway, this next song that we're going to do here is off of that album. And, uh, the story behind this one is this, and, and for a while I wasn't going to tell this story, and it was again, my wife said, no, tell the story. So this is what happened, and this is what the song is about. I was laying in that hospital bed. I had been in that bed at this point for six months, maybe, on my back. It was nighttime in the hospital in Omaha, Nebraska, and it was dark in the room. I couldn't sleep because I had 25 tubes and hoses in me and stuff. And suddenly, in the darkness above my head, there were these beautiful white lights, white lights, and they were flying around. And I was watching them. And I was mesmerized. Then they spoke to me and they said, do you want to fly with us? And I said, yeah, yeah, I do. Suddenly, I was out of my body. I was white light. I was flying around. I could look down. I could see my little emaciated, sick, dying self down there in the bed. And we flew around and I had a feeling that I've never known and it's hard to explain. The word bliss does not cover it. It was a deep, profound peace in my heart and my soul. Even though, uh, then they said, you want to come with us? I knew that meant I would die. And I said, you know, someday. But I want to fight. I want to give it my best shot because I want to be a husband again. I want to be a father again. And God willing, I want to play the guitar again. And they said, okay, we'll see you someday. And I was gone. 
back in my body and I felt like dog do. But I, when I was writing Battle Scars, trying to talk about my experience of, of you know, facing death and coming back, I, I wanted to write a song for those, those beings, those entities. That was a real thing that happened. I saw something there that changed me profoundly forever. So I wrote them a song, and it goes like this.
and tribulations. All these frustrating situations. Can you relate?
Anybody here from Huntington Beach?
I did uh, 20 years ago called Go the Distance. And the fellow who was in the band and played keyboard on that album, so he was in Nashville, Tennessee. But you know what? He's come out tonight to be at this gig. And I think we should get him up and have him play a song on the Hammond organ for you all.
On this song, uh, we have Kenny Wayne Shepherd playing with us. And I showed him the song. From the key of C, by the way. I showed him the song. He said, what's this song about? I said, this song is about the things I used to do in my younger years that caused me to have to get a brand new liver. It's called, it'll feel good for a minute, and then it's going to hurt like hell.
Whoa!